Hi, this is Boiler Dan Juan, and welcome to my channel if this is the first time you've ever watched. My motto is I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. And today I'm going to review a chamfering tool that I purchased. I actually didn't purchase, I received it as a Christmas gift this year. But it was on my Christmas list. And it's, I hope, to be used in model shipbuilding and uh, some of the planking to try and keep it lined up correctly, I think, so we'll see. But I thought I would start out with a general review of what you get if you buy one and how do you put this thing together. The kit does come with uh, picture instructions. There's no real words, so I'm guessing it's going to be fairly easy to put together. It comes in plastic packaging. All these little square pegs are numbered and the illustration doesn't show them in place it shows it all hollowed out so I'm gonna pop those all out some pop out easier than others if you have one that's tough like I have a little hole drilled in my workbench here so if I center that right over that hole and then use a punch to push it down, they pop right out. Next it shows the four parts. And again, these will all carefully pop out of here. So you have A1, A2, A3. And then these are all the internal parts. Okay, I think I have the assembly figured out. You're going to take A1, put it on top of A2, and put that on top of A3. That will give you this formation. Then all these small A6s hook all these together. So once you have it lined up, I'm gonna tap I'm going to use this little hole again, so let me move the camera down because I want to tap this just through a little bit. And now that can attach to A2, which can then attach to A3. Tap this through a little more. I'm undecided on gluing it. I think I can always go back and glue it, but I'm going to see if this will hold it all together. So that makes that pretty stable. Again, make sure you're, you're using A6, not A7. There is one A7. I did sand off the little burrs that were on there from packaging. Next is where A7 comes into play, and that's with these pieces that will go here, and it um, holds them all together. Let's sand this off a little bit so it's perfectly flush. And this can actually be assembled on the table. I was able to push that through with just my thumb. So there are three screws with a washer and there's pre-made holes right there. Now that we have all that assembled, it's the correct order for the blade. The correct order would be for the blade to be exposed on this side and I'll mention at this time there are just two sides of bolts and nuts so the larger ones go in here the smaller one is what secures the blade so the larger one just goes through this hole and then the nut will actually recess into this slot and the center support 
prevents it from going all the way through. Let me just give this a couple of turns so you can see how that recess is in there. But you don't want to over tighten any of these things because you would strip out the wood. And you'll want the blade to rest on top of that screw. And now we can take the smallest of the little bolts. And again, the washer just goes on the uh, screw part, top of it. The nut doesn't have a washer. Then the final step is to back these off, loosen them up a little bit, and so you have a space in here. And then, as you can see here, once you have that in place, you will insert your plank and draw it, and it'll shave off, as you can see here, give you an angle. So that's it assembled. That's how you work it. And once I get to the point of doing that on a ship, I will show it in the actual building process. You can purchase these various locations. I think mine was ordered through Amazon, so it would get here quicker. You might save a couple bucks uh, through an importer from China. But currently, it takes a very long time for anything from China to arrive. So that's it for this episode of Boiler Dan 1, where I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. The chamfering tool. Assembly. Use is next. As always, thanks for watching.